Today, you're going to look at using the JSON format with the Movicon Next MQTT driver for both subscribing and publishing. MQTT is a lightweight messaging service widely used by Industry 4.0 as well as IIoT. JSON is a method of formatting data to send via IOTT. JSON stands for JavaScript object notation. So let's take a look at an example of a JSON string before moving on to the Movicon Next configuration. This is a JSON string. It can be identified that we've got the name device and it also contains an array of two fields which are item A and item B. As we can see each of the item A and item B has got a value. We call this a key and value pair. The key identifying what the value is. So let's move on now and start taking a look at the next setup. So now let's go ahead and have a look at how we set up the configuration in Movicon Next. So first I'm going to come to my IO data server. And I'm going to go across to my drivers tab. I'm going to add a new driver. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down until I can find MQTT, so MQTT client. I'm going to pop in the IP address of the server where my broker is operating. I'm going to create a client identifier. I haven't set up any username or password. So I'm going to hit next and then we need to create a station. So I need to tell the station that we're going to be using JSON format. I hit next. I'm going to hit finish. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to mirror the JSON format in a data structure. So to begin with, I'm going to go to structures, I'm going to add a new structure. And I'm going to call this device. And now I'm going to add two value members below this. So I'm going to add a new member here. And it needs to be the same names as what we've got in our structure. So I've got item A. I'm going to make it an integer. I'm going to add another member is item B again and make this an integer but I also need a structure to hold this in which is from my MQTT message so I'm going to add a new structure I'm going to call it something useful for me MQTT message but now I'm going to add a member beneath it but I'm going to select the structure that we've just created which is device and I need to call this device so it matches up with what we did previously so now we've created this I need to go ahead and create a tag and again I need to point it at the MQTT message, and I can call this whatever I want. So MQTT1, execution, we need to address this. But what we do here is we only put the topic name in. We don't have to put the tag value in because what it's going to do is it's going to see the topic name then it's going to see the members within our structure and associate them. So I'm going to call my structure here test. I'm going to hit OK. So what effectively it's done is it's created me a device structure and then two items and as an array inside of it. So I'm going to come over to my screen here. 
and I'm going to tag this up. So I have item A and item B, and I've put some commands just for quick setting values as well. So now let's run this up, and compare it with MQTT Explorer, and see what happens. Okay, so now I've got my MQTT Explorer open. I'm publishing into device in my JSON string with item A with a value of 100 and item B with a value of 21. I've got it in a JSON format with a topic of test. So I'm going to hit publish. And we can see we've got the value of 35 and 21. Now if I change the value here, I can see it's changed and published both values back. Now, if you was to individually tag these without using the data structure, what you'd find is it only wrote one of the values back each time. So, I've put some quick buttons in as well, just so we can set some values. We can see it all matches up. That is how you publish and subscribe using the MQTT client driver in Movicon Next using the JSON format. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.